Hi, Fire Signs. Getting ready to do a collective reading. So this is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Posting these the first day of September. So what do Fire Signs need to know? All right. You're starting with the Ten of Coin, Four of Coin, Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Fool. Okay, there could be some moochers around you. Ten of Coin could be people trying to take from you. Too much of a burden. This is showing money, but it could be anything. Your energy, your time, starting something new. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the High Priestess in reverse. You're not listening to your intuition. Under the deck is the Page of Cups. Maybe someone around you offering help. But, um, so you're overwhelmed by something. You're trying to figure out what to do. So this could be a relationship you're in, and you want to get rid of it. You want to move on but you don't know what to do. Maybe someone is even saying to you, oh, you can't do that. You know, you, you're not smart enough or, you know, you can't make it on your own. You need me, that type of energy. Someone may be saying crappy things to you like that. And you're worrying here, but you're not listening to your intuition with the high priestess in reverse. What is the high priestess in reverse? What do fire signs need to know? Two of cups. What is the two of cups? Page of Swords. Sometimes, okay, like I said, there may be someone around you who may be offering help. It may not be um, a lover, a, re a romantic relationship. It might be an air sign. So it could be someone around you helping you that you're not taking their help. The other thing is sometimes, you know, people in our lives, they are soulmates. They are very close to us. We have that um, Two of Cups energy with them. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they treat us right, that we should stay with them. It's time to move on. Page of Swords could mean cutting that person out. Because I'm seeing this clearly. You need to move on, it looks like. What is a Four of Coin? The world in reverse. You're hanging on to something that's over. But Fool, how do you get Fool? Six of Cups. What is a Six of Cups? Knight of Swords. What is this Knight of Swords? And the real... Okay. So I don't know if it's you racing back to the past or someone from the past is, you know, basically chasing you metaphorically. If you are to leave, if, if they see that you're pulling away, they make sure that you don't. That can be a very controlling energy. So it could be that the person, again, you're in this relationship with is saying things, page of swords, that are hurtful, that are mean. Or maybe they're saying they'll cut you off of money. So maybe that's why you have the four of coin. Maybe you have money where you, you're at, you feel stable, but you feel if you leave, you won't have it. Or this person is saying you won't have money. They won't pay you any type of support if they're supposed to. Seven of cups. Two of swords. What's on the other side of the two of swords, please? Page of wands. Communication. Who's communicating? Who is the page of wands? Work. Okay, something to do with work. So... Because I wanted to know exactly who this is for, what you need to do to get out. Because a lot of these readings say that, and other readers say that, you know, this is over, you need to move on. But if you physically or mentally or, you know, financially can't, how are you expected to leave, right? You need to dump this burden. We see it's time to move on, but there's a reason you're not. So this is saying you feel overwhelmed, but what you need to do is communicate about work with someone. Page of Wands, obviously that's your energy, but again, this could be um, talking to someone about a job, about making money. I'm going to pull one more card for the Five of Swords for you guys. You have Temperance in Reverse, so someone is losing their patience, whether this is you or the other person. King of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or someone could be very emotionally unbalanced. It could be this person here. So it could be this person drawing you in. Maybe they're saying, maybe they're worrying. Maybe they're saying, oh, I can't be without you. I can't be alone. You have to take care of me, etc. So they may be manipulating you. Okay, one more card for the King of Cups. <clears throat> okay, I see this person's lying. Lying. Sneaky behavior. Okay, I don't like this at all. So basically, fire signs or someone in your life, however this is working, who basically is more or less using you, 
lying to you, making you feel like they are incapable of taking care of themselves or they'll be all alone or that you won't be happy without them and it's all, it's untrue. All right. Listen, you're not listening to your intuition. You need to listen. You know better. You know that you can make it without them and you need to move on. You need to let go of this cycle because it's, it's 10 of wands, you know, it, upright or reverse. It's too much for you. This is something you're carrying. This person, relationship that you should not be. One more card for the Ten of Wands, please. Lovers, yeah. So even if this is a love relationship, out, when you're with this person, you feel like you're not out in the cold. It might be a Gemini, but Four of Cups, there's no offer. So it's like some of you are staying with this person because, again, there may be a soulmate bond or you guys were at one time. You think this is your person or they're saying you, you are for them. And when you're with them, you're not out in the cold, but, you know, five of coin in reverse is still five of coin. You're just not alone out, but now you're with someone who doesn't treat you well, who may be lying to you. And again, for four of cups, excuse me, there's no offer. This is a crappy offer, but this is a crap, no crappy offer. So it's literally like you guys are wasting your time in a relationship with someone who does not care about you. And, um... I th there might be someone in the past, if this resonates, that you could go to for help or you can quickly move to with the Knight of Swords fast energy. might be an air sign, but I feel it's more this person comes after you. The main thing to hopefully help you is this right here. Something to do with work, being financially stable, working. So I'm going to leave it there, fire signs. Have a great week, you guys, and take care.